Screen Friends Eye of incredibly important news. I just got off a developer call with a lot of the studios involved in Warzone and Modern Warfare 3. They gave us a very detailed roadmap about what Warzone's going to look like, the changes they have already made, and what they're going to do going forward. This is all for the new Warzone map, Urzikstan. What I'm going to do is run around Al Mazra with a riot shield and melee weapon because there's been six people in my comments repeatedly asking for over a year, and we are going to go over every single thing they told me because I can tell you it's not embargoed. First, there is a Warzone trailer out that we need to watch so everyone's up to speed. Now, let me move my camera so we can see it. Let me turn up the volume a little bit. It gives me a lot of Verdant's vibes. Just a lot of it, and that's a good thing, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be so much fun, I hope. Does that not just look like downtown? And boom goes the javelin. Music star. Song is clear to win by Claude Debussy as well. Nah, see you later, dummy. Boom goes the rockets. A little slide cancel action. The train's gonna be fun. Nope. So there we have it. And can I just say, there is, and I absolutely mean this, nothing that goes harder than a Call of Duty trailer. But you guys didn't click on this video for the trailer. You clicked on it for all the crazy little bits of information I have. We will get to those, but first I need to figure out where to go. I should probably just go to my safe space of Corey. Now that I've tagged it, I should also give you my pitch. Warzone 3, or whatever, Warzone Chapter 3. Comes out in two days from the time of this recording. I will be playing it a lot, like probably an unhealthy amount, going through all the different meta builds, all the not meta builds that are just fun to use, and everything in between. So if you are interested interested in any, all, or some of those things, and you are not subscribed, which usually like 30%, 30 to 40% of people who watch my videos are not, you can fix that by clicking the little subscribe link. So the first issue that they brought up was pacing, and that comes down to player count. Let me just loot this, and then I will explain that to you, because well, the way they talked about it was like kind of complicated. Not the number of players that they're going to have. That's actually a very even round number that is easy to remember, and it is 100. I know some people have been looking for 150, because that's what Verdant's dropped with, and like other battle royales kind of have this 100 player count and that's kind of what separated warzone from other brs in the market but they were like we feel pretty confident right now that 100 players is the way and the reason they gave for that was what is it called i have all have my notes here uh it's time to action time to action is essentially just like how long it takes you to get into action in the game mode they obviously did not give away any of those metrics because like that's proprietary but one thing they're focused on is making sure that you have good action right away uh oh i'll counter uav just went live you get good action right Right away and then also the game doesn't slow down because in this game mode this is probably a poor example but right now like i haven't seen anybody which i don't necessarily hate because that way i can get my crazy riot shield melee loadout glass before i have to get into a gunfight and try to win this game with as few kills as possible look at that we already got enough let's go break this glass vandalize some property and go get our buy but they want to make sure that not only is the beginning of the game fast paced and they give you plenty of opportunities to like get back in the fight with second chance mechanics i believe is the word they used and just like that we got our perk class. Oh, someone just took a vehicle out of here. But they want a busy start to the game, and then they want a busy middle of the game. That's been probably the biggest issue on this map so far. What you doing down here, buddy? I mean, I have zone for right now, so that's good, which actually brings me to kind of my second point. Not the best segue. It's more like a bicycle. Mortar Street going off right over here. Hopefully, I can find somebody. Would have loved to get a UAV. Don't have the money to do it. Oh my god, a redeploy pack. Speaking of, there's two of them in here. I wish I could stow this. I'm gonna drop my ammo, because I'm not gonna be needing that. Pick up some 
plates because I'll probably will. And then tell you about another thing they changed to make the pacing a little bit more sustainable. So the map itself, Urzikstan, that's the name. It's a fictional stand, not somebody's name. Just, you know, there's a lot of stands in the map. I feel like I heard somebody in here. Urzikstan is 20% smaller than the map I'm currently playing right now, Almazra. Finally, we got a recon drone. I keep thinking I hear somebody. Whatever, we'll just throw it out right here. This is a bad spot to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Deployed. Someone deployed a cluster mine right by me. Why Why did I... Oh, okay. They are down there. Do I get my loadout and go immediately back for that person? I'm gonna do it. So yeah, the map's smaller, and that is because they think it will increase engagement and also make it better to pay. Let me go prone so this guy doesn't know I'm here. Look at him up there in the minimap running away. I'm coming for that at phrasing. I'm going to kill them. He's gonna get in that vehicle. I can almost guarantee it. If they do, you gotta like and subscribe. What? You're not? You're running the wrong way. You're running it. He fucking did. I thought I had hit all the mines, but apparently not. If he sees me, he's definitely gonna try to run me over. Along with circles taking less time, they are also doing a lot of different things with the contracts around the map and also how guns behave. The OGs here will remember that on Warzone 1, especially on El Masra, but also on Caldera, although we try to, you know, block that out of our mind. If you didn't have a suppressed weapon, you showed up on the minimap. You had a big red dot and anyone who was anything remotely sweaty would then push that. They would, they would try to find you and kill you. That's why one of the most popular attachments in that game was the monolithic suppressor. It was kind of bugged. It gave you like all the bullet velocity in the world. It had no downsides, basically. You stayed off the mini map and it made your gun better. Give me another redeploy pack. Bomb drone precision. I'm actually gonna call in this bomb drone right now so that I can see where people are. One homie over here. Anyone else by me? Let's just check. There should be people rotating out of zone. This gentleman down here. I just wanna scare him a little bit. You see me, I see you, it's fine. I can get you upstairs if you want. I'm assuming that's where you're gonna go. Everyone always goes up here. Suck! Didn't matter. I really wanted to pull my parachute there, so I could make the top. Oh. I'll do one more for the good of the order. Okay, there's one kill. I hope this stops the people from, like, asking me to do this all the time, but it probably won't. They're also bringing back a contract. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go through this as quick as I possibly can. I have throwing knives in case this guy peeks the window. They're bringing back the contract, big game bounty. So it's not just a bounty contract. In fact, it's so much more than that. It is, if you get a kill on your bounty, it gives you an advanced UAV. He's right in the window. What if I hit this one? Did you guys see him there at the door? I'm probably doing some cool zoom. I don't have stunts back yet, otherwise I'd full send this. The responsible thing to do here is wait for them to rotate. The irresponsible thing is to try to hit this throwing knife. No way, I just like... Well played. But if he thinks he's getting a free rotation, you're very wrong. All you did was just make me into a more dangerous player. Where'd you go? That's all to say that these time to action changes, all these things that they're making are like one of the most important metrics that they're focused on. And that's straight from the horse's mouth. There was not actually a horse on this developer call, but it's a metaphor. Let me hide this so I can read you my other note things. A few more changes that we gotta go over and then I'm gonna give you a very, very long list of quality of life changes because there were a lot of them. In fact, it, it, I don't know, it reminded me of like a very large Excel spreadsheet. Where did this person go? You precisioned me and then you did nothing. Wouldn't surprise me if they're just like tanking gas because they're so scared of me and my throwing knife prowess. Maybe they went low towards that buy building, but then they got in a fight with the other person I saw on my bomb drone. So how far do I gotta go? I should take a car to get there. Away we go, me and Laura Croft. So they changed around the gulag. Yeah, that's what I was meaning to get to. Gulag changes. There's a bunch of different things you can do. You can either extract through the middle so there's not an annoying flag that you can't shoot through anymore. There's also like a second chance gulag thing. Oh, also, this is a uh, this is gonna be on the quality of life thing, but since we're here, I might as well bring it up. Strongholds and black sites. If you leave them, you don't get your ping anymore. I see somebody over here. Should we go pay them a visit? Someone at the top of this building as well. They definitely heard me get out, but that's okay because I have two stuns and a ride shield. I mean, it's not like okay, okay. I'd rather them not. But is that song gonna hit? No. I was hoping I could do that through there. How are we gonna play this? You probably see me as well, right? Do they see me? UAV overhead. Let me just try to do this real sneaky like, huh? They were right there. They could be watching the ladder now. Is there another way on top of this? Do we see him up here? Oh, he definitely doesn't see me. He's like, he's focused. That's the greatest decoy I've ever seen in my life. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> Greatest decoy throw ever. We play comms vest, mortar strike. Thank you. Now, who are you shooting at, huh? They've also said that weapon metas are going to be fresh. So like, we're not gonna have to just deal with weapon metas that never change, which I think is like really an important thing in a battle royale. Obviously we got a lot more to go through, but I would say like the general consensus was that things are now in a very good place. Did this guy have cold blooded on? Wait, did someone just snipe at me? They did. From where? Oh, hi. I mean, this person can't do anything about it, so I shouldn't just stay here and farm XP. Or do I try the throwing knife thing? I'm gonna try the smoke behind me. Oh, someone's over there sniping as well. Okay. Well, this just got complicated. Sorry, are they trying to stun me? I'm the one who one stuns. Now, let me just uh, give you all the quality of life updates because there were, good lord, so many. Let me just show you that many. Oh, I'm not in, I'm not in zone. To the new safe zone. Hi, Groot. There's two people in there. This guy's about to get wrecked. So let's see if I can do this as they push each other. That's such a bad stun. Really unlucky. Gotcha! Funest! I'd be pretty upset if I were them. Let me close this door. Hide and let my stuns respond, res respawn. OG loadout crate model has been returned. Allied loadout crates now have an in-world highlight. Gas mask is now the first item in the loadout UI. Loadout UI is now a carousel. Gulag entry kits can now be stowed in the backpack for a teammate. Increased gulag entry kit drop rate. Now let me rotate and I'll continue reading these off. They're fighting, it's my time to leave. I can't get out this way, only the front door, fuck. It's okay, I have gulag. Speaking of gulag, there is post-victory gulag looting. So there's like a lot of loot in the gulag, at least some of them, that ch changes every couple times. Buy stations are accessible 30 meters into gas. There's a new buy station inventory. Slide distance now impacted by surface incline, so you can't... Ooh, that's actually one that I didn't really notice on the call. I don't know how I feel about that yet. It will be fun going downhill, it won't be fun going uphill. Big one that I don't think is gonna get enough credit right off rip is smoke grenade duration has been reduced by 20%, because for the entire life cycle of this game. Smoke grenades have just been like, what you gotta use? Is this a hit? Okay, it is a hit fire one. Got it. No way you come in this way, right? You sneaky boy. They reduced the loadout cost to $15,000, and then it also is scaled based on your squad size, but $15,000, most you can ever pay for a loadout. Modern Warfare 3 operators now have a different parachute. That's like, you know, whatever. That's neat, I guess. Gas mask overlay. Big one that uh, I could have used there if I actually had one. Gas mask overlay has been made better. Like, you get more visibility. I feel like there's one more loadout going down, and I'm gonna... Okay. Right on cue. This will be a pretty hot one, but I think we just do it anyway. I said this would be a ride shield game, and if I die, then I can read you more things at a better rate, and you don't have to wait as long. Oh my fucking god, I didn't mean to do that. More contracts available late game. We're just gonna- we're gonna move right by that. Spawn protection time decreased to 2.5 seconds from 10 seconds. That's actually quite noticeable. Increased redeploy drone capacity, like they shoot you higher and you move further and faster. Nice beams. Oh, uh, but- but you needed a couple more of them. That person's sliding around like, I don't even know what. What's the thing that slides? You are now being pushed. Hopefully it's by someone with a ride shield. I was waiting for them to do this. Oh, there's a floater up there. Reduce slowdown when landing from a jump. This is a good player. They keep going to a high glitch and they are not leaving it. You should probably precision them to make them move. Did I say this one already? If I didn't, here we go. They reduce the slowdown when landing from a jump. There they go, they nailed all their shots or toggled the Cronus, one or the other. I bet you they're still at that same hangglitch spot. The person below you definitely knows you're here. Most wanted contract now, oh. That was just unfortunate. Mantle speed will also be increased in Warzone 3. That's just, but it's been well known, well documented. Scavenger contract is back, oh boy. Those are all gonna blow up. They were for absolutely nothing. This person has a god arm. Scavenger contracts are back, it will grant you a, sorry. I'm trying to like focus on the gameplay and also this. They will give you a plate carrier, so like a satchel, an eight plate thing, I'm assuming. Hey, that's my Jeep from earlier. You saw him right there, right? You know you you know you looked at him? Hmm. Are you gonna third party things or are you gonna leave your roof? We got a lot more to go through still, so sorry. Stealth Fest no longer counters advanced UAV. 
Good to know. Less extreme default first circles. I'm actually very excited about that one because, like, sometimes on this game, they give you a circle that's, like, 30% of the map. Especially when the game first comes out, I want to see all the map. I want to have a variety of circles because, as everyone knows, that's the spice of life. I don't know if I finished this because they might have gotten a gunfight, but a most wanted contract will now give you a second chance gulag entry kit. Always. I kind of like the idea that certain contracts will always give you certain things. It's nice. It feels much less random. Wow. Groot skins just go so incredibly hard. Parakito Gamer. I don't know what that means, but this person has like an advanced mobility SMG and that's a bomb drone. I can't believe anyone would use those things in this game. They're just so cheesy. There it is. And it did absolutely nothing. You didn't know where you are. So that's the thing that's gonna prove difficult. Someone all the way across by the oil rig. Uh, I don't think this push is safe. This is a very good player, by the way. I know they only have seven kills, but the game can get pretty slow. Now they're gonna go, I think, right at somebody. Armor boxes, munition boxes are just like, you can hit them immediately. In this game right now, there are like, this person has infinite bomb drones, what the fuck? Oh, that's an unfortunate slide. And that's the game, the person wanted a bomb drone, oh my god. Diversion! Okay, here they are, so that I don't have to read them all off to you. Let me move my camera and say, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you tomorrow.